This is an absolutely incredible scene here. This matchup brings total annihilation and bodies everywhere. Well, this is a dangerous situation that goes far beyond defeating your opponent. This form of combat brings competitors irreparable harm. The goal should be just to make it out alive. From the top. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Lift off. Crash landing. And now the most dangerous area inside the cell. Of all the toys underneath the ring, he just had to go with the one that ensures splinters. Oh, no. What a counter. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Quick exchange of counters there. Uppercut connects. Back in the ring now. He's got him in the crosshairs. Taking flight. Diving hammer strike. What kind of mindset does it take to be able to succeed inside Hell in a Cell? You need killer instinct. There's no time to catch your breath or worry about external factors. It's all about attacking harder and winning at any cost. him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Oh, enough already. Oh, great reaction from Kofi. to the outside. As we all know, Hell in a Cell matches tend to deteriorate once the competitors leave the confines of the ring. Uncorks an uppercut. He may be in a bad way here. Hell in a Cell is no joke, Michael, and they have done their best not to let this structure affect them too greatly. Ooh, mayhem! Silly. Oh, 
Oh, stiff uppercut. He climbs into the ring. Setting foot in the ring now. This match is brutality starting to show on him. No matter what, you have to be happy with yourself for the effort you put inside the cell. Yeah, but you'd be happier with the win. And Abel. Kofi's got him measured. Got him lined up. Kofi. Strength to kick out there, it takes willpower, and Balor is showing that in spades. On a normal night, that wins it for Kobe, but tonight is proving to be a much different night. Forced out of the ring. Now on the outside, right by those cell walls. Oh, Balor with the counter. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Oh. And he saw Kofi coming. Oh, oh. He returns to the ring. And back in the ring we go. Out of the ring and even closer to the chain link enclosure. Taking this outside. This could be good. Oh, that can rock you. Oh, man. chair into the turnbuckles. Get him into the corner. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Pitch. Perfect drop kick. Here we go. Kick right to the back of the leg. And Finn Balor connected nicely there. Rocked his opponent. And there's Balor managing to inflict additional damage. In the back of Balor's mind, he has to be thinking about ending this. Rebound, two-hand shot. Superstars. The level of resilience we're seeing is off the charts. Oh my God, what a move! And just like that, he said, crashing to the. No way! Oh no! That was playing with fire and getting burned. The decision to take such a risk at this juncture is questionable. Fishing for something beneath the ring. A steel chair? Something we all know could be a devastating weapon. With all this in mind, take it from me. Nothing good ever comes from rearranging furniture. He returns to the ring. Kobe got him back. He's got a plan for that table, and it 
does not involve a dinner party. Short work of fit. What are we going to see here? What a neck breaker. Counters. Finn gets stopped in his tracks. Here it comes. Nicely done. Kofi Kingston's dynamic offense on display. Finn really having trouble with his defense. Hooked up. Scary up there. Will there be a reward? Battle time that just right. DDT! Fight! Looks like setting up for a suplex. Gonna finish things off. the WWE Universe, this place is starting to rock. And now in the most dangerous area inside the cell. Quick return to the ring. Climbing the turnbuckle now. Soaring. Tremendous drop kick. this victory with a win like this things have got to taste a little bittersweet right about now actually Saxon I imagine the win tastes a lot more like pennies <laughs>